what this is, man. We're back with that podcast, Medicine Man. I'm talking about real raw shit. Can't get it over the counter, man. You got to come rock with us to get it. I go by gas, the realest. I'm Mr. Mina, the motivator, and I came here to motivate the nation, my brother. Fact, 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 facts. Gonna motivate the nation, man. I'm talking about, you know, we got that motherfucking uh, chest tournament. Chest tournament coming up, man. I'm talking about end of January. We gonna uh, keep you updated on the information. We're gonna let you know all our people, man. Come down and rock with us. If you're in the city, if you're not in New Orleans, come rock with us, man. That's just what it is. Man, I'm talking about, oh, salute to all our monthly members. That's real big, man. If you're not a monthly member, just click join in the description. It's just $5, man. Ain't never hurt nobody, brother. Ain't going to hurt nothing, man. Hey, uh, another uh situation in the industry with hip-hop, Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk went to jail last night for murder for hire. Is it is it is it uh related to the incident that happened like maybe a year or something ago? With Quando partner, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh so they can't pick them up. I mean, they, they you know, they must have got enough evidence on them to find out that he he either paid for the uh for that murder or or had something to do with it, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't know if they got enough information out, like, you know what I'm saying? I know we heard that he was arrested and what he was arrested for, but I don't think that they displayed enough information on, like, you know what I'm saying, directly, like, you know, some details, like, you know what I'm saying? So we overall just know, you know, he was arrested, you know what I'm saying, but not enough details to find out who said something or if somebody gave his name up or... He, he he got arrested off speculation or you know what I'm saying so you know because it, it got a lot of different uh, counterparts that go with that sometimes when they make the arrest like you know what I'm saying and you know we we just didn't get the key names of who said what and who did what for them to have probable cause to come pick him up you know what I'm saying but he did get arrested and that just put me in a little a place of like how these dudes get all this money bro you know establish a certain kind of lifestyle. And set itself back with the shit that we try to escape, just by living in the in the trenches or, or, or in the jungle and having to deal with some of the shit just because of survival side of it. You know what I'm saying? It look like they're doing it more for a sport than than survival. You don't have to beef with niggas and send hits at niggas and things of that nature. When you get to love, you could just remove yourself from that type of environment where, you know what I'm saying, put the proper security around you where you ain't really even got to even indulge or worry about that type of, you know, drama in your life, like especially when you focused on getting the bag, but instead it look like, you know, they getting some type of uh, reward from, you know, being affi- uh, being affiliated with the beef and and, and, and and putting some action behind the beef that they have, you know, in the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that elevate their name to being the realest or help uh, push their music or whatever may be the case because, you know, you know, word on the street is that you got this handled or taken care of, you know, so, you know, but it, it, it's it's like drill music, would you say it's dead now? Or it's dying? Fuck no, drill music was popping, shit. Drill, shit, that's what everybody on. That's what everybody, yeah, like, everybody. I guess I haven't been in tune with music like that. Like, you know, when I hear spinning and, 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 and um, drills, you know, like, like we running a drill and all that, like, that shit just, that ain't the kind of music that I guess catch my ear right now. You know what I'm saying? I like life music. Like when you're talking about, you know, coming out the struggle and what you've been through to get out of the struggle and things of that nature. Not more like actively what you're trying to do to stay in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, because that's pretty much what drill music is. It's almost like an activity of my everyday life or what I'm into at the moment. You know, and that that that, that kind of music ain't doing nothing for my soul. Like you know. It's, it's yeah, it's that, but the other shit like the struggles and all that shit. It's a mixture of it, all that in there because these people talking about drill music, they definitely come from poverty and the struggle, so it's all mixed in there. But the drill shit definitely overpowered, just you know, them yeah. type of balls. But it's definitely it's definitely in there. But what I could say though about that is like it takes a strong person, bro, like for you to just say, man, I got millions. Fuck what happened last week. 
You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. I I don't think that we get millions, bro. And then I just say, if a nigga do me something, uh, kill one of my people, I'm, it, the money gonna make me say fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And that that always come from myself alone. That I feel like that about people, but it always come from the people who ain't reached the level of the money yet. Other people, nigga, talking about, including myself. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. I'm using that logic for myself also that I don't think that I get a million and nigga kill my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, fuck, I got millions. I need to change my life and don't worry about it. So I get it to some degree. It just don't bring your people back. That's you a know, fact. It, you know, it don't bring the people back. And, and what it does is it, it, it you so high profile. I, I, I think that we lose uh, touching how high profile you are and how... You know, you're you're a big fish when your name involved. I don't think we lose touch of that because that's the reason. If 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 I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't that, I probably would be still outside busy myself. If I get down like that, that's how you get the murder for how you tell it. Because I'm so big profile, I still want this done, but I can't do it. I can't get close to it. So huh, woo, and that's your charge, murder for how you. But you can, if you were smart enough, you know, knowing that I can't have this attached directly to my name, it wouldn't be me that's going. You know, because listen, if the job is still getting done and taken care of, does it matter if if, if I called the shot or somebody else did so long it got done? You know what I'm saying? I just think that you're not thinking all the way, you know, because, yeah, you paid for it, you didn't do it, but the person that get caught, it, it goes back to the cold thing of, like, not knowing. Like, you know, some of these people don't really be battle-tested to the level to find out. Like, have you been in a situation where you have got caught for doing something and you didn't, speak no name and you went through whatever and, and they didn't have enough information so you come home like you know have these people been proven to that level to for you to call a shot give a nigga some money and then let him go you know go with the move you know so sometimes that's what I'm talking about detaching yourself from that type of environment meaning like well you know because Dirk had got to a level where his partners didn't even know where he live at so that means to some degree, you was like trying to remove yourself from out that whole situation to some degree, but you still, you know. That's a tricky situation. I get, I get, I definitely get what you're saying, but I also know like what I'm saying is a tricky situation because some shit not worth doing if I I can't talk about it. You know what I'm saying? If I if some shit not worth doing, I'm only doing it because of the talk. You better slide for Vaughn. I'm steady hearing this shit. I'm still, this is a lot of pressure. You better slide for Vaughn. This is my real partner. And what I'm standing on, nigga, know he did and ain't nothing happened. That shit fucking with me. I know what type of nigga I am. I got this paper and that's all I'm hearing. We hearing it on a low level of social media viral clips. Man, nigga, better slide for Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? That's why you put it in your song. It's fucking with me. Nigga say, better slide for Vaughn. That's pressure, my nigga. So, I ain't trying to slide for Vaughn and not be, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing come from me. I gotta let you niggas know some form of, yeah, we did that. Why well, can't through, through 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 subliminal in a song, through niggas going on interviews, like homie went to jail and got out saying Dirk took care of me for that 50 bands, took care of my people while I was this bro for life. That was the nigga on the woo. Like, yeah, it's all of that man that lead a nigga to to to, to you. Why the justification just can't come within you knowing exactly yourself. like right. that should be that should be enough that should be enough. I know I got it handled because proving it to you gonna wind up slamming me in jail like you is right now. Right. Faced with that, like you know, and that's the reality of it. Like you know, everybody gotta prove to somebody else pretty much what I stand for. If you know that business got handled, and you know like you you called the shot and got it done, fuck what everybody else may think it is. The just you should be justified within yourself. Like, when you talking to your partner within yourself, like, I got that handle. And you wasn't just going out like that. Like, nigga ain't going to walk around, be able to brag and say, woo, woo. I know we got that handle. And that should be good enough. Right, right. But I, and, and then I feel like if it wasn't no pressure on it, or that wasn't what the people said, or that wasn't in the public eye, I don't think nothing would be done about it. Right, but that could also be just the immaturity of, like, you know, you know, when when you allow that to be pressure, because it only because it only becomes pressure because of how you, what you allow to make it, you know, what you allow to be pressure on you. You could be like, man, I know I'm about to get that taken care of. Fuck what they talking about. And justify it within yourself and get it done. And, and you wouldn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all could think whatever y'all want. It's dude still walking around here. 
when I, you know, pressure is all type of shit, but I, I mean it also to the point to where leaning to uh, the pressure that, 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 that make you build up false courage or to build up courage, that type of pressure. Yeah. To build up courage, to even want to go. That's what I'm saying. I don't even think that if niggas was mentioned, if this was some lower level shit that nobody know about, I don't even think that nigga was going to slide. A nigga would try to get a nigga whack because nobody don't know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't think that the, the love that you got for you, because you know this this stuff have help, ha, have happened on a lower level, meaning like nobody don't know these people, but dudes still was getting things handled a certain kind of way on a lower level, like meaning like because within itself, you know, what I'm saying you couldn't like allow the person that took the life of your partner just to be walking around bragging on it or feeling like he did that, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, yeah, that boy got to get, you know what I'm saying, eliminated. And no, I'm saying you want to be making songs and wanting people to know. Right. Well, I guess because of the... If the it pop- wasn't a popular yeah, thing. Yeah, it's because it's popular and, and you know, so, you know, you, you got to make music on... I mean, you ain't got to make music, but, you know, they choose to make the music on, you know what I'm saying, because that also keeps them relevant and they, they feel like they're feeding the people what they want to hear. So if I don't talk about this, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna always be a question of like, why well, ain't never saying right, nothing about right. what happened with Vaughn, how you feel about it. Right, right. You know, right. And I, not boy. they just gotta change the art form of like, you know, you could express yourself without saying what you're gonna do. You could just say what Vaughn is to you and how you feel about it. And I think sometimes that can also make a motherfucker know like if that's how you feel, something bound to happen. Whether you talking about it happening or not, but just your feelings for him, or just like you make a passionate song where nigga be like, that was his dog. And you, you could hear the pain in this fucking song that, you know, it was heartfelt. Nigga, no shit come from that. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to be on that bitch like, oh, we gon' slide. You know, you don't have to even brag on that. You can just brag about how you love this person. And when that person come up missing, the speculation will be like, you think that was that? Like, regardless of, if you really know what happened, all you know is dude is 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 no more. Regardless of who did it or how it got done, you know, and the justification should be within yourself. I know we got that handled. And they know he's missing now. They know he's he he's not here no more. So that's enough said right there. Right, right. Cause it's like you just keep getting tricked. That's what they're gonna keep being. Cause you get every every ele- element of the whole shit about riding and sliding and pressure or not, you're gonna keep getting tricked. Because See the people, this shit I was telling you about, nigga won't be removed from the streets but still won't have street morals and carry on with street conversations like you should do this. And I'm telling you the street way to do it when I ain't even in the street no more. And I'm, and I'm meaning in this, you keep getting tricked. Them same people saying you better slide for Vaughn, they're going to be the same people saying you that stupid. with all that money. See that we saying, man, you're supposed to grow, you're supposed to mature. Now nah, that what you saying, bro, is the real you. But now nah, you ain't even in the streets no more. You was carrying on with the street shit. Hmm. The street perspective, you better slide, you better ride. Right. But now the real you, man, that nigga dumb, man. All that fucking money, man, nigga doing. You keep getting tricked, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to do what's right for yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? When people still live for the perception of others, like you always going to get kind of tricked out your position by trying to prove to somebody something that's not even worth no more than, you know what I'm saying? A conversation about it. What they say negative or what they say positive don't change. You know what I'm saying? Your lifestyle, the whole nine. Like, so you shouldn't even really care about that. But that's... I just say it's a form of immaturity because, you know, it took me a certain amount of years to get to a level where I just really don't worry about what the next man really say because I had to start looking at it. What he's saying, do not pay my bills, bro. What, how you feel about me? Don't do nothing for my life. It, it took a minute to get there, you know what I'm saying? Because what you thought about me or what you said about me did affect or bother me at one time, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say I think that you have to have a certain level of maturity to surpass you know, worrying about those type of things. Like, you know, and, and until then, you're going to always get somewhat tricked out your position by worrying about what the next man says, especially if he's of some type of caliber caliber of a person to where you don't want him to feel that way about you or think that way about you. You're going to always go outside your, yourself to show that person that you are who you want them to see you as. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. It, 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 it's, it's crazy. It's, it's levels to it's levels. It's levels to the perception of how much you put into it, bro. Because 
if we believe it or not, bro, we 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 all do we all do some shit worrying about the perception of others. Every every human being, bro. What about if you're thinking about this? It ain't even the perception of others. It's more like the perception that you have for your own self, how you perceive yourself as. You know what I'm saying? And you're looking at it like... But you wouldn't have the perception. You wouldn't perceive yourself like... You're, the way you perceive yourself is coming out the perception that others have for you. That's the only reason why you want polo. Because you could rock Nautica. You could rock something that's... You could, you could make that your clothing line all all, all, all the time. It could have a it, it could have a shirt just like this or a sweater just like this. But if it's some other shit that it ain't... You know what I'm saying? A brand or something that we know or something, we ain't gonna put that shit on. We we going to polo. And that's and that and, and not because it make you feel that's what I want to wear, because you'll wear the other shit that's the same exact sweater as this and the same exact thing as that. If that was the case, or you like how I feel, the stitching, the collar, whatever a nigga may say, if that shit had another name on it, you would just get that and not polo. So it's, it's still some perception of others uh, that that we take in perspective that when we for our own uh, shit. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna use this example since you brought up that. I wear polo because that's something that I've kind of been rocking since little, right? You got young boys that look at. Well, you still wear polo. Like it's almost like it's a rib to certain people because they got so much other designer shit that people are into and on. But that never swayed me to say, you know. And I respect some of these people that feel that way, but it never made me change up to say, yeah, but I'm gonna stop wearing polo because that's kind of dated compared to where we at today. Or oh, they got some of my partners that don't wear clothes with a. With, with no kind of label on it, they they grown. They wear sweaters that you don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And they might say, "Mike, but you still, but you be on that polo, boy. You stuck in time. You you on some '90s shit, like you know what I'm saying? It never swayed me to say, you know what? Because I respect you a certain kind of way. I'm gonna start wearing brands that don't show the name on it or whatever may be the case. So, like I say, uh, it, it's it's. It's what you like, at, you know, sometimes. It don't have nothing to do with other people. It just be like, that's what I'm on. That's what I like. That's that's the way I want to portray myself. That's how I want myself to be displayed. And I'm good with that, regardless to if you like it, do like it, don't like it, whatever may be the case. I, I, I had to put it in that perspective of, you know, that's where I'm at mentally right now. You know what I'm saying? It's something I've been liking, whether it's in style or out of style, I'm still wearing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I haven't switched up because of what other people may feel or think about it, whether you like it or, or dislike it. You see what I'm saying? So That's a little different. I, well, I had to use it on gear when you brought up gear, you know, no, to it's still a little analogy. different because a nigga, that what I'm saying, it's a little different than my analogy because it's Polo still is a brand name. No matter what time it was, a brand name. A nigga going to Walmart and just wear them type of shirts if it had this same exact thing on there. A nigga wouldn't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga rocking polo because it's polo. No matter if I rock it in the 60s or in the fucking 2000s, I'm rocking it because it's polo and they hold a value of, it might not hold a value of a Balenciaga today. I get, that's the analogy you was trying to make. Yeah. I get that. Right. But it's still a brand of polo. To, it was a time, it was a time that this was all a nigga rocked it. And I'm just staying in my zone in my time, but I'm still rocking that value polo. Right. That's what I'm So that's why I say it's okay. a little different. I, I, I could dig that. I could dig that. So um, I just, the point, only no, point no, I was, I could no, dig no, that. I get what I'm saying, I but the only point that. I was making is we all, you just can't get caught up into the perception that really, really stopped your life from moving. That type of perception of others have on your life, that's a little different, you know what I'm saying? But I, so I just was making a point we do have some, we all have some form of learning about the perception of others, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's levels. Dude, I, but, but but so this way I'm trying to go at with it as well. Does that perception of others equate to like maybe like if I carry myself a certain kind of way that's be, be beneath who I am? No. You don't think it's like because of that? Like maybe, maybe because you know you like uh you know this this you know I came out. You caught me in some level. You caught me on a level of something that I, uh, you know, I don't carry myself that way. So I'm more concerned about how, you know, you perceiving me outside of really how I care about myself. Like, you know, like, like with that, with that, because I'm trying to make it like from a mature point, because I'm saying like, yeah, you, you know, you worry about what people may say or, or think about you, but it, it mainly goes back to. If 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 you're in a zone of like you know how you carry yourself now if you catch me outside of how I carry myself I might be concerned about that but if I'm like how I feel already I really don't care how you think 
When I step out my house, meaning like if this is what I want to wear and this is what I'm wearing, I don't care if you say it's clown fit, looks stupid, it's dated, whatever may be the case. But if uh, no, I get if, if, if I get caught with pajamas on and something brought me to somewhere where I had to be in the public eye and I'm a little concerned because I'm like, I wouldn't really be out here like this for me. But due to something happening, I had to rush outside, something happened, I'm on the scene or something, somebody called me, I just had to jump, you know, go with whatever I had on, pajama shit, now I'm in the public eye, they got news cameras out, they got all kind of shit, and I'm caught out of my element of how I carry myself. Now I'm concerned on how people may perceive that, because right. now I'm out of my own element. But as long as I'm in my element and you do that... It don't you know, even man. bother me. So that's why I was saying, like, you know, that's, that's the point of, like, meaning, like, the, how you perceive yourself, it, it, you know, that's, that, that's when it bother you amongst other people when you get to a certain level of maturity. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because other than that, everything everybody say about you or make you, you'll be altering yourself until you find yourself within where you totally comfortable with, regardless of how y'all may think about it. You know what I'm what's, saying? What's, what's... What's the problem? Like, what's causing? What, what, what's causing it? Like, what's causing the nigga to really, really worry about the perception of others? Like, what's causing it? I just think the judgment of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like you know, uh, you looking down on me, or you looking at me as less than, and I, I, I don't want you to, you know, I don't want you to perceive me that way because you, you, you care. You know, I think the, the, the caring part of how, like how people look at you you know, bothers you to some degree. You know, when you get, I guess, more comfortable within yourself, it don't matter. I've seen it happen with younger people as well, where they found themselves so early to where I don't really care, you know, or they say he a nerd. He cool with that. Like, he don't care that you, he not trying to be with the in crowd. Like, they, they, they got selected people like that being found themselves way earlier than other people because they're not trying to be with the cool kids. They're not trying to be with the, the who's who's and things of that nature. They always was outside of that and they was always comfortable with being that, they self in that, in that lane. Uh, I think when we wanted to be accepted amongst people, the perception of others matter that much more. Because we want to be accepted amongst a certain group of people. You know, once you, if you're not concerned about that, you really don't care what people may think when you're not trying to be accepted amongst those people, if that make any sense. So, so, so not being accepted, yeah. that's a whole nother one. Yeah, but that's, that, that's, that's, that's when you start caring about how people may judge you or, or look at you. Because you got to, let, let's go back to elementary or young, you know, you come to school, you got, you know, two short pants on, things of that nature, dirty tennis or whatever, and you get ridiculed about it. Some of those cool kids, the cool girls, the you know, the the, the people that's was you know, was that's that's that's, that's kind of cool and, and and was popping, they make you feel like you're not accepted amongst us because of how you look and how you dress. So when you want to be accepted amongst them, you you, you get to a level where I got to hustle because my mama can't afford this shit, so now I'm going to go hustle to get it so that, yeah, I got that shit on. And now you feel amongst that peer of people, you know, those peers of people that you wanted to be accepted by. So, you know, you're concerned with how they judging you and looking at you because you know how that felt when you was on the outside of that. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. At young. Yeah, and I think a I'm lot more of... more than less... I'm so, so, so... Uh, nigga, what nigga say, like, the most, the most less fortunate go through that? More? Yeah. Because of that? Yeah, they get ridiculed way more than the people that have. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, some people be comfortable in their skin with being like, you know, it is what it is. And, 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 and they, can, they can stand on the outside of that and still be good with who they are. Then they got other kids that just can't handle that type of pressure of, because I want to be around y'all. You know, a person that don't care to be around y'all don't really care what y'all talking about. I don't really care that you call me, hey, I got to wear these Coke bottle glasses because, you know, I'm a nerd. I read my book. Like, I get a joy out of reading books. I get a joy out of figuring shit out and being a nerd. So being in your crew is awkward to me because that shit dumb to me and it's, it's not challenging. It ain't exciting. Boy, y'all square, like, in that person world. Nah, for real. That's going back to shit we were talking about, yeah. the square versus the yeah, street Yeah, you kind of lame to me with the dumb shit y'all doing because you trying to, you worrying about them and that. Now, Man, this book and, and this little world I'm in right now is everything to me. It, it, it don't even matter everything else that's around this. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's a different kind of person, like, you know what I'm saying, compared to the other people that want to be with that whole little crowd of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to be that person right, that's right. outside of that. You know it's hard. It, it, and, and that let a nigga know. <clears throat> it's, it was hard growing up in poverty and being the less fortunate kids, but 
the way that you making him feel, that was just a form of having fun. By growing up in poverty yeah. and less fortune, we ribbing you. We talking about you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We talk. We saying you a nerd. That's what we do over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't got nothing else that to do. do. Right. That's what we do. But the shit that you into, they're just letting you know you don't even supposed to be in with these type of people because that's what we go. You need to be with your type of people with, that with they don't tribe. go on. Yeah. yeah, they don't go on with with, with you. That's why I said shit happened a lot in the uh, with the less fortune because that's what we do. Right. You might. You know, one of my daughters went to an art school. Man, them kids came as they all. Oh, they just, you know, they be got the big boots. Like, shit, yeah. they was all the weirdest kids in this one world. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that much of ribbon and ridiculing because all of them had found their own little lane of how they and is. They cool with that. And they was cool with that. It wasn't, it wasn't no super cool bunch and nothing. Like, all us artsy. We all here for some type of arts, dance, acting. Uh, culinary arts, whatever. We all here, and we kind of like different from the regular kids that go to other schools that's in crews and cliques and things of that nature. So, you know, my daughter never, that particular daughter never was into high-end clothes. You know, she was like, I'm going thrifting. What's that? I go to thrift stores and I make, put it together. I, I, wear, I put it together and wear it the way I want to wear it. So, you know, it was like, she had found her own little lane, but we had to cultivate that by putting her in an environment where yeah. she wouldn't be ridiculed at being that person. Yeah, that ain't your lane. You don't put to be with you that. We, we sending you to NOCA. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can so we can cultivate that art in you that you can go and be who you want to be without other people shunning that out of you. Because they can shun that out of you. They can make you feel so bad that you be like, you can't beat them, you got to journal. them. And then you become... Something that's not really you. You give up the art side of it and get with the cool clothes wearing your shirt. Right. You know, like whatever's in fashion with the cool kids, that's what you're starting to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I'm going to tell a nigga, boy, one of them celebrities see this shit, this podcast, and it run across their desk. Man, y'all niggas better stay away from, far, far away from them fucking keys to the city. <laughs> It seemed like they get them kids to the city and, and it's and, over with. And shit come with it. It just let me know all this shit is cahoots, my nigga. Ain't no way two weeks ago I got kids to the city and then this week I'm on murder for hire. Y'all might not ever get out of jail again. Man, this shit is a cahoots. You know what I'm saying? Diddy got the key to the woo and then the next week I might not get out of jail ever again. Right. Man, I just, it just seemed like it's some cahoots, my nigga. I ain't never, I ain't, I ain't never seen. So many people of this caliber get honored for that type of shit. Like the real world is honoring hip hop, uh, 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 th these type of people. You know what I'm saying? Key to the city is, man, it, I, I would think, nigga, when I tell my son somebody got the key to the city, my son should think of, you know, a person on, on the level, not a, a fucking little dirt, my nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That let me know all this shit is food. You know what I'm saying? If I got to tell my, my my son who in Chicago, this got the key to the city. You right. know what I'm saying? Before. I'm saying before this jail yeah, shit before, came. Yeah, before. Just it's off, just that off when, works. When I jump in the car and <laughs> I put this bitch on. Yeah, that, that's, who, that's who I got to the key to the city. city. That's sliding. Sliding. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> out there. Switches. Him, daddy? Right, yeah, you got the key. You see what I'm saying? Let me know, man. This shit, this shit, right. this, this ain't no real shit, man. I don't know, bro. Uh, I, you know, I, I I don't know what's the qualifications to get the key to the city. Ain't none. You gotta get some bodies and bricks. <laughs> what you mean? You don't know? And some baby, some baby Earl. Need a thousand, a thousand, <laughs> <laughs> need a thousand wild other bitches. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. That's what you don't know. That's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I I, I don't understand. Uh, uh, the politics behind it, but I, th at one time things always had qualifications for things. Like you know, you you had to be qualified to be in a position or qualified to be honored a certain kind of way. It's like you know, what have you, what are your accolades? What have you done that you know that we can put up on a high horse to give you an award for whatever? Now, if it's hip hop and we're doing a hip hop awards, we understand that. But we're talking about. Uh, Daily duties, like now, I don't know what this brother may have done to, in Chicago besides made music. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he done funded places. And it don't matter what you known for, and your title in this world is rapper and your music, and that's what niggas be going for. For a nigga, for us to say that shit right there, and that's what that shit be doing quietly. Niggas be knowing the ropes, my nigga. So when you see them niggas talking about I'm changing my life, and you start seeing them get the key to the city, and you start doing them, seeing them do a song with J Cole to build that image, and you start seeing these niggas join the mosque. You know what I'm saying? My name gonna be Humbucker, listen, Harum, and all this old stupid ass shit. Nah, bro, you know what the woo is, my nigga. 
then you putting all that in place. So when niggas get on this podcast, we could say that. that. That was behind the... Nah, nigga, you only start doing that because the woo was close. Man, you don't see these niggas, these niggas going to Morocco and these foot in the sand, these stupid ass costumes on looking like that in Jerusalem. Man, nigga, soon the fucking camera gonna go off. Man, man, drop that four in the phantom, man. Right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fuck you, out you, of you, here. You, you don't think that... uh. People, you know, when they're doing that, like, because a lot of the, the rappers go Muslim or whatever, you don't think that that's a bad stigma on the Muslim religion, like, you know, that they could be getting caught up for murder and all the different type of stuff with professing that they, you know, a, a, a Muslim now and they're changing their life over, but still kind of like in the same activities of what, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. The religion supposed to be no part of. Like, it, it, you don't think it's a bad look for the the religious sector of. You know what I'm saying? Um, how 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 would you think that? Uh, uh, you know, the Muslims look at that. Like when you know all these different rappers that's Muslims getting caught up in these different type of situations. Like, I don't really look at it no way. You don't <laughs> I think there's a because because there ain't no ain't cause, no because no because of this this reason. 80% of Muslims, you would, well, no, let me ask you this. What you think is the percentage of people who Muslim that got in there on some shit in the streets from jail, uh, daddy was like this when he was a kid? Like, what do you, what do you think Muslim, I mean, actually, what you think the percentage is of them niggas, of, of the Muslims? Meaning where they come from? Yeah. A lot of them come from prison. That's what I'm saying. So, they accept the shit that you're saying, like, that's us already. You know what I'm saying? You know, usually when people, the guys that say they have found Jesus or, or, or whatever, you know, not to get on really no religious tip, but just talking about it since we're talking about rappers that choose to change their life and go to these different sects of uh, religion, you know, when when a guy say, usually say he became Christian, it's almost like his whole lifestyle changed. But look like the guys that say they become Muslim, they still be actively what they are in the streets. Like you see what I'm saying? Like it's it's almost like they still have a gangster persona that's connected to their religion. When guys say, you know, I became a Christian, it's almost like they don't curse no more. They kind of like be, you know, you know, with the exception of like a uh, gangster, you know, because he don't curse or whatever may be the case, and he's sticking with that. But I'm just saying, the majority of the, the, the guys that's like rappers that do it, they still be, you know, Kevin Gates, everybody, they still be talking the same type of. Language that they talk prior to joining that religion, but when people would say I, I, I became a Christian, they're no longer like rapping the same way. You, you see what I'm saying? It's almost like the religion helped them change over their whole thing. Like you know, but when I see guys that be Muslims, they don't have to change. You know the prerequisites of how they get down. Like you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you can still be the same person, but yeah, this is my religion. Like or whatever may be right, the case. Right, so right. That, that's why I'm saying, you know, do it give it a bad look? Compared to, you know, if I was a young kid coming up and, you know, I'm trying to find myself in it, you know. I don't think a, a nigga it, look at it, it like the look, look of not for is when nigga trying to convert you and you're trying to become that and you're trying to, to them, they, they believe in everything you're saying and all you're doing. Like, you, you don't, it's not a thing to where, uh, like, you don't post the change. Nah, nah, you're supposed to, Muslim or not, you're supposed to work towards becoming a, a better, better version person. of yourself. Right. You're fucking right. So, it ain't just no fucking pads. Like, I'm a Muslim, I still could do this. Yeah, you supposed to be working towards becoming a better person, for sure. Right, so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, even with what's happening with Dirk, you know, he could be on a path of, like, man, I was trying to change up my life. Like, even with the stuff that you were saying he was doing by doing a song with J. Cole, becoming Muslim or whatever, you know, yeah, to some degree that could look like I'm just trying to make this look this way. But what if it's sincerely that he's trying to become that way? I, I, I only could say them what ifs and have them what ifs conversation if the what ifs ain't came yet. You know what I'm saying? This is, this, 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 my, my stance is because you've been, you've been, you, going, you went to jail for this. Yeah, because you know but that's, but that, that was my past so that caught up. That took out the what if. That was my past that caught up with, with my future. And that would charge that would cause you to change your image going in the future because of your past. That's exactly that what I'm saying. What you just said. That's why you changed it. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like you know, you know, the things that he's doing, the things that he's doing, did since that 
particular incident don't necessarily have to be because of, oh, I was, you know, I, 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 they got my name mixed up in some murder shit, so I'm about to put these things in place to look like I'm trying to become better. And he could just be really like, you know what, bro? I'm trying to get my life together and be better for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? And this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, not to cover up nothing. Like, I'm really trying to go this route. Because since that incident, you know, I, I, I don't know. I haven't, I'm like, like I'm not a big uh, Lil Durk fan like that, where I could see his music change. But I did see, like I said, the J. Cole song and things of that nature to where he could be on the path to like, this the route I'm about to, this, this way I'm about to go out with my life because of how many people I've lost around me and some of the things that my name is affiliated with. I just want a better life from that because I see that this shit going to eventually crash me out. You see what I'm saying? Could it be that way as well? Yeah, because, you know, I, you, you was like kind of, it got an uproar. You're still saying the same thing, but I just don't want to keep going back and forth about it. You're still saying the same exact thing that I'm saying. You changed your life because uh, you was getting into it. No, I'm saying, no, no, listen what I'm saying. When you said it, when you was like, when you ran it, when you hit me with the rant about it, you was kind of like saying, it's only because of this to make this look like this, like not that it's sincerely a person that's trying to change their life up for real. I'm as asking like, could it be a, a lesson to this young brother that's saying? It could be, but I'm not going to go with the what if when I know this came after you changing this, this, this jail shit. Yeah, that, that's the, that's because that was still in the air and pending, like, you know, to a level to where now... My past have caught up with my future. That's that's all I'm saying. Like, I'm just saying that I get everything that you're saying, brother. I'm just saying I would look at it like that if it was a person that didn't have nothing attached, you know what I'm saying, and just did that. If nothing would have came out before or after and you did that, that I would understand your point. It, I'm only making this stance because the charge, you know what I'm saying? Right. Even if I'm right or wrong, that's that's what I'm trying to explain to you. That's why I'm taking this stance and not going with the what if. If that didn't happen and we had this conversation, I'm like, yeah, Big Brother changing his life. He might want to get it right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I would have went with that. I'm not going with that at this moment because that happened. Yeah, I was, I'm on. I'm looking at it that to that degree because I'm saying if he was on a little path away he had with the change, and then something happened and. You know, fresh, like like in the mix of him being that, and now this didn't happen. Like you just something just happened yesterday, and your name tied into it from you presently in, in your present moment from the change that you was on. I would probably be looking at it like, you know, uh, you know the way I'm saying it. Like, damn, dude, you know what I'm saying? You you, you got this image of like you going this route, but you just pulled this act off yesterday and now you're getting charged for it i'm just saying the reason why i'm maybe i'm looking at it the way i'm looking at it is because this is something that happened way in the past that could have sincerely made you say i want to get it right for real you know what i'm saying it just so happened your past have caught up with you and it's setting you back no matter if you're no, trying to be agreeing right with that i'm just saying it's not my stance because of what's at hand right. if booby black became a muslim it's because he fucked with Kevin Gates and that's just what he did. Nothing have happened. So I would say that brother trying to change his life. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he did that, if he did that and then next week he come out and had a body, I'm going to say what I'm saying now. You only did that because of that. That's why I'm not taking a what if stance because something's in play. Right. You see what I'm saying? Something in play. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that about Booby if nothing wasn't in play. The big brother trying to change his life because he he tired about the shit that happened in the past. Not not nothing that catching up with him, something open. He just don't want to live like we we right. all lived in the Magnolia Project. I don't want to I don't want to carry that on him. I just want to change my life. I would say that. What you saying now? But right. if something was to happen a month down the line after Booba did that, I'm going to be saying what I'm saying right now. Oh, you only did that, bro, because... That's what I'm saying. That, yeah, that's so that's I do. I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, but not on this because something has happened. That something at play. You know what I'm right, saying? Exactly. So I do right. get it. Even if, I, even if that's what's the truth, if it's the way that you're saying, even just because they're at play, that could be true. But I'm st I'm not going with that because right. yeah, it's I, at play. I just, you know, I just always like to give the, you know, because we hypothetically speaking, I like to give the opposing side of that. Like, you know, you know so the viewers can understand, like, yeah, it, it might it might be exactly what Gad said in the beginning, or it might be exactly what you're saying. Exactly what me and it says, so we don't know. So we kind of keep it open, you know, open dialogue, bro. Because, 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 no cause. right or wrong, and it just, just more like opinionated off of how we may view it, you know. That's, that's about it. Hey, look, check this out. <laughs> if, 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 fucking net, huh? Uh, man, vice versa, no matter who did it. Oh, cause we could, oh, we could cover both people, but the man, so. 
you married and shit. I got an old lady or whatever, whatever. And we doing bad, according to me. You know what I'm saying? Life's getting cut off. Life's been off a month. We just ain't got it. So my girl going through my shit, I just came across my shit when I wasn't at home. And I got, she come across, I got 25 bands. You know what I'm saying? Life's been off a month. I'm saying we ain't got it. Say, what the fuck is this? Man, that, that's, that's my bread. I've been saving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got the lights off in this bitch. You talking about your bread you've been saving? She take that. With, I'm saying, how a nigga playing that? Uh, if she did that, a nigga supposed to move, a nigga supposed to leave, carry on. If your girl did that to you, vice versa, like if your girl did that. Like you, what, what, what a nigga doing if the girl do that? Meaning if she had the 25 yeah, pounds. And you ran across it. And I ran across it. She had to give me a a, a strong, strong ex- explanation on why you got it and, and letting us be living in these conditions. Like I would, you would have to have a strong explanation on the 25,000 is because of this and this is why I got it and this is why I'm, I'm holding it because of whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it have to make that much sense to me for me to be like, okay, I get it. Other than that, I don't really understand your 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 mission. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wh- why would you allow us to have to live in these conditions when you got this type of money, you know, just sitting aside? You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I you know, I, I would I would I wouldn't just uh react to it just because I seen twenty five grand. You gotta give me an explanation where this twenty five grand come from and why you holding it and we dealing with what we're dealing with. Cause I, I when I when I ran across that shit, I was saying that too. But then I came to the conclusion of, man, ain't no motherfucking explanation bigger than the, we've been in the fucking lights. We've been in the dark for fucking a month. That's what I'm. That's what I. That's what I said. If somebody paying for at twenty five thousand is for her mom or surgery that she got to have next month, you know, and, and, she, and she saved need, it. For and that. she saved it for that, and I'm gonna have to go through these rough conditions right now because I gotta make sure my mama can live by giving her these twenty five thousand so she can have this surgery. You tell me something like that is understandable to me. You see what I'm saying? Because not your, your your reason supersede the struggle that we're going through. I understand why we're struggling now because of what you're trying to do for is a more to me a greater cause because it's a life of somebody that I love, you love the whole nine. You could have told me about it, but that know, was, I was about to say you're going with that because that sounds like something that could have been talked about. So nigga, going with that explanation because that, that's something you could have told. What me. if it's like you don't like her? You, I know you don't really care for my mama, so you probably wouldn't even, you would try to talk me out of doing that to, to take care of this, when that's really more important to me than this condition we in right now, because that's my mama. It's not your mama, and you and my mama don't always get along. Well, you so, say we all love them. So I, 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 love. Yeah, I had to change it. I had to change it, because you change it. Facts. you change, I got to change. You can't change the scenario how you want it to go, and then I'm just like stuck I with it. You did change it. <laughs> Change though, yeah. What else? Keep changing that. Bitch. Yeah, you're gonna keep what else. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Stupid. So your what else? Like I gotta keep coming with different things on your what else. So yeah, yeah. You know, but like yeah, like that. It would be have to be under those type of circumstances for me to be like, I get it more than just you holding out on me twenty five grand because you don't want to give your money up. You, yeah, you putting a struggle on me and making me feel like you do something. I don't think can, I have to get over it. That shit make me feel like an ass, bro. Yeah, I, I I couldn't get over it if you have no reason. You're just holding it just to say that's my money. In case we go out separate ways. In case, yeah. Cause <laughs> looking like this shit ain't looking. It ain't looking, looking good because you ain't holding your part up. You supposed to be, you the man. And this keep happening, so that's why I keep saving my money. Yeah, I'm saving my money. Yeah, I can do bad what, by myself. Let's just leave this. I can do bad by myself. Let's just, let's just oh, leave Oh, I ain't that's, saying that with, the no. tw- with, your 20, with the, you taking the 25. What you going to try to take it from now, me? You can split that bitch. You can leave or something. You can't take that well, girl money, that's man. That's that girl money, huh? Yeah, that's what she saved, and you can't But that was part of my woo, because I'm, I, yeah, some of the money that you was getting from me for shit, you was just pocketing it. I gotta think of nigga, nigga think about every every fucking occasion I gave you money for. Whatever that shit tally up to, that's what I gotta get. I gotta get that back. I just think before we get to those type of issues, you know what I'm saying, we'll we'll be talking. You know what I'm saying? Like to a level of like, hey, you gotta evict, you know, they give you a warning, like this bitch cut off. Eviction, like they're giving you these warnings. Like before we get put out of before we get put in that direct position, I kind of like I'll be questioning like what's going on? What you doing with the money? <laughs> Didn't I give you money for blah, blah 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 blah? You know, so we'll be then probably 
had that talk before I even came across the twenty five, or went our own ways before I even noticed she had twenty five thousand yeah. like, dollars. A lot of females like, feel like they 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 money ain't for bill. They, they money ain't bill money. Your yeah. money bill money. That's why they'll spend their whole shit in the store and then tell you what's, what what need to be paid. Right. <laughs> that was my ch- that was my check. <laughs> right. Because that's 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 the way they, they their relationship is built around. You know what I'm saying? Mine is mine and yours is yours. You know what I'm saying? And you know a lot of females, we come together when it's time to pay something. But mine, you don't keep track of what I got going on with mine, and I don't keep track of what you got with yours. We come together when I say. This bitch six hundred. <laughs> right. That's where money come together. Until right. we, c- and they got some females that you know they don't want deal. They're not gonna deal with a man unless he can take care of everything, and all their money is for whatever they want to do with it. Like it's you your got job. Them? It's your yeah. They, they got them. Right? Yes, indeed. I, I just seen on on the ground like you know, girl was like, and a man, a man saying, you ain't a man if you can't take care of everything. Yeah. You know, you're not the man, and I'm I looking like man, I'm looking like nah, bro. That's not always necessary. Like, like you, you know, I'm not less than a man because I'm not in position to do everything. I'm still a man, like you know what I'm saying. I'm still doing my best. Sometimes my best ain't to your, you know what I'm saying, expectations. But at the end of the day, man, I'm not gonna let you take away my manhood by saying because I can't pay every bill in this house, provide this, you know, my situation is like that. I could be a convicted felon. I can't get a certain kind of job. I'm stuck at what, you know, this is what my life is. This is where I'm at at the moment. And you judging me off for of, of this moment and saying what kind of man I am when I could be on the road to being, you know yeah. what I'm saying, dude that could take care of everything and more. Multiple households, like I might be on the level of doing that in a year from now. Yeah, but don't like don't take my manhood away from me by saying what I can't do in the moment. Yeah, the niggas like that who saying that shit. Your girl getting fucked from a nigga who 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 weed she buying. Right. Yeah, nigga who saying it, man. Yeah, your old lady getting fucked right now from a nigga who she she buying za for that nigga. Yeah, it be happening like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why the ones. That's why they be the most heartbreak broken person because they can't believe a phantom like you know what I'm saying that you would fuck with somebody at that level it's like I presented so much to you to show you what you should be on to where I find out you fucking with anything less than that I, I'm, I'm, I'm devastated because I'm looking like well, why how right I saw a post I don't know but like it was, it was like some photoshop and it had like Neo uh, on there and three girls Nah, I had knee on there. Like, nigga had no teeth in the mouth, nigga. Like, it's photos. It was some Photoshop. Okay. Like, the point they were trying to make. They had knee on there. Don't, no teeth in his mouth. Ball, big old ball spot. And it was like, when you do it, for, and, it had a, and it had a quotation mark, do it for that woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then they had two shots on the other side. Nigga looking like a G. You know what I'm saying? For like, he looked to date. Like, real, real young. It, in quotations, fuck them bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, let you know you, that's how you're going to look when you... <laughs> when, you when you do everything you, for that, yeah, without taking care of yourself in a mix of uh, which, whatever you're trying to do, like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some people are raised like that or trained like that, you know what I'm saying? That, that evolve with time, man. That a man take care of everything, you know what I'm saying? They got dudes that work two, three jobs to, to, to provide that. But I they, saw Trina say that. My man don't spend a dime without... Consulting with me, yeah, my I man don't too. spend a dime. I saw that. I yeah. saw that. You know, and I was like, "That's crazy!" Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like your role of some somewhat change. You a like, woman, my nigga. If you talking, yeah. bro, you was not a man, so you better. You can't. She can't even say my man because that's not a that's man. That's not manly yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, I, I I provide, I take care, of, and I'm gonna spend this shit according to. The way I think I want to spend it, especially I'm the one that's earning it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby, I'm sending. They that got cool. some niggas so cold, they spending yours like that. <laughs> 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 this this mine, like right. this, you know, yours is mine. Yeah, and I'm gonna spend it like I want to spend. They got you know they, they call them niggas cheeky, but they got those right. kind of guys that feel like fuck. You know what I'm saying? They got money here. Come on, gotta ask you. Come on with it. I gotta ask you. I'm going yeah, buy yeah, me. You know what I'm saying? I got a pack. I won't go buy. I'm going buy that. Like I ain't gonna ask you. You know what I'm saying? Is is is? Can I do this or can I spend that? You know? Yeah. But, call my girl. Yeah, baby. Me and me and that Golden Corral. Is that right? About seventeen ninety three. Yeah. Can I spend to, it? Can about to pay for our meal? But Man, but but, but, but listen. Here, but for people that that works, listen. Different stroke work for different people. If 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 if, if you a guy that. Blow a lot of money because a lot of people get in this position by being a fuck up. Meaning, like, you fucked up so much money to where you have allowed the girl to 
kind of control it because of how much you fuck up. You know what I'm saying? To a level of like, she managed the money the best, so I got to ask my girl when I could do this and do that because I be fucking a lot of money up. You know what I'm saying? They got guys that understand that about themselves. where well, the girl is the better money manager. She's going to make sure all the bills paid, run everything the way it's supposed to be ran. And if you just spend, you know what I'm saying, like however you want to spend, it, it hinders us you know what I'm saying? Having that uh, security for us, everything taken care of properly. Like, you know what I'm saying? So some guys would submit or, or, or give over that, that authority or power to their woman to be like, you manage the money and I'm going I'm to ask you, Bill, is I right if I go buy something like right now because I don't want to fuck up no yeah. bill money. Yeah, we fucking it up. Yeah, you know. But I'm, I'm managing saying, this, yeah, woo. Yeah, you ain't managing this. They got, they got, on the other side, they got the female, you be like, man, I know I should have took care of that shit my fucking self. So it's all... I mean, what, what, that, like you say, what, works what for, I say, what work. works for yeah. you, because, you know what I'm saying, necessarily, like, you know, that might be the best thing that works for that particular couple. What that, works for me is I'm going to control it. That's what works for you. No matter who the woman is, that's what works for me. Right. That worked for us. That would work for me. Right. So when you're in a relationship. <laughs> I ain't work for me. Listen, when you're in a relationship, <laughs> shouldn't you, shouldn't your mission to be. I'm, we putting together a plan that works for we're us. We putting a plan that yeah. works for yeah, us. Yeah, it is us, but that that role is mine. That one, mine. Of 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 of, of controlling the man, the, the money, yeah, the money management. Yeah. You want to manage the money? Yeah, I'm gonna manage the money. Even if she make more than you, it don't matter. No, man. I'm just asking if she make more. Yeah, I'm. You manage. still want to manage it? Yeah, I'll manage it. Is that your skill? I was talking about my bread. But is but that, you're but, changing it. But is that, no. I was talking about my bread, but I, I ain't saying nothing about her bread, but I was talking about my bread. Oh, you're going to manage just yeah. your money of it. That's what All I'm right. talking about. Right. Okay, well, yeah, just clarify that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I wanted to know how much of managing you was doing. You know, you're managing all the funds or just your <laughs> funds? Like, I needed to understand. You a fucking, a, a fucking control freak. That's called a control freak. When you're managing you try, all Yeah, you want to manage her shit? You want to manage all her shit? If she pay, she make more, you still want to manage all? Yeah, you a fucking control yeah, freak. Yeah, some, some, some guys want to be in that type of position. Nah, I don't want to be. Nah, I just, I, I'm going to control minds. Right. I understand that. That's 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 how I, I see it as well. I want to control mine, but I'm still out for the cause of us. I want to want to make us. I want to make what we got. Work. Yeah, I would say us, but because not just mine. I'm talking about for my spending, but us when it comes to, I know what we supposed to pay. I'm I want to. I'm going to manage that to make sure it's getting done. Not the right. female. Right. That's outside of just my money. I'm just talking about. So we need to pay this, and I know we need thirteen hundred for the school tuition. I'm going to manage that from fucking zero to 1300 to make sure that we got it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't going to take no vacation a week before. We ain't buying no dresser and all these health products that you want just because we got the money. No, we ain't doing all that. We're taking care of that. I, we're going to take that school, that school tuition. Like, that far as that go, like, I'm going to manage that shit. I get that. And, and that might be your strong part. I just think that in any relationship, people should take on the roles of where they strong is at. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what make things work. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm more not this type of person. She's better at that. You take care of that. I'm more con better at this. I'm going to handle this part. And that's how you should, that's how I think a, a good relationship should work. Like, you know what I'm saying? That like we help each other out where we strong at. Like, you know what I'm saying? And not from a level of being controlling to a level yeah, of, like, I just want to directly control everything or I don't feel like I'm the man because they got some man that feel like I need to control everything to feel like the man. Nah. I don't have to control everything and still know I'm the man. Like, you know what I'm nah. saying? Yeah, for sure. For yeah, sure, for sure. You know? And some of the final decisions is going to be my decision when I... You know, when when I when I'm firmly knowing that it's the right thing to do, you see and what then, I'm saying? When, some, I, when I know <clears> it's right, like believe it or not, that that make a nigga that that will make a nigga somewhat ask for your input also though. Like just knowing that you the one that control shit and it's, and that's what your job is. That would make you ask for your old lady input just she because she knowing that you got it, you are gonna take care of it. You right. know what I'm saying? She don't, you will ask for her input. You know what I'm saying? type of person you is, she'll know that you got it all under control already. But So you know you don't even need our input, but you're an ex, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like you fighting for control, you already got that. So you'll be more open to even hear what you got to say. Yeah. You know then, then especially if you fighting know it, for control. Especially if you know it's still going to go the way I want it to go anyway. Yeah, yeah like, like that, like that. Yeah. Now what you got to say? Yeah. Nah, we ain't doing yeah, that. Yeah, ain't gonna fuck with that. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like, like, you know, but if it's, you know, 
you know, yeah, that's why you open to because you already know the final answer gonna still be yeah. what the final answer is. But would you be that way if you wasn't? You know what I'm saying? If, my girl do that with small shit. What you want to eat today? I say three things. Nah, we just gonna do this. You already knew what you was gonna go with anyway. Why, why you even ask me? That's just women in general. <laughs> that type you know of shit. Saying? You know what I'm saying? That's just women in general. I, I, I you know, I tried the shopping thing. I tried to do that type of stuff. And yeah, I can't it, go it's, shopping. It's crazy. It's just like we went to ten stores to go back to the first. Everything store. I love, you hate. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? You know, she said, "Y'all men so simple. Y'all just get da, 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 da. and out." No, yeah. we gotta. I'm like, listen, love. You saw that already. I hate for people to touch shit. We coming in looking for a white shirt, but why is you touching red ones? <laughs> we going to an all white party. The fuck is you looking for red and black for? Yeah, for next time, we ain't want. Listen, we came in here to get something for an all white party. Just get, just go look at all white yeah. shit. Don't be looking at red. Ooh, I'm nice. gonna stand the car, nigga. You, like, you do that? I yeah, I'm gonna stand the car. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I try to, I try to, I try to go with it because I like to pick that shit out. Like I like to help pick it out. I ain't gonna say pick it out because my girl still will be like, I don't like that and getting it. But I still be like, yeah, but you know. So I like to help out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know. So I'm that type of nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I go with I'm staying the call. But I still get frustrated, and it always leads to a frustrating moment. I don't give a fuck. I always think it's gonna be different every time. I don't know yeah. why. I lot of myself saying, so babe, we just going in there and get a pair of shoes, right? Yeah. Why are we looking at purse? It's just never fair. Not that she even buying a purse, right. but just we just gotta. You know. Yeah, I learned little, little small little tactics like to do like when I when I know it's gonna be a problem or something like that I don't do. So when I see you start doing that, yeah, I'm going to the full court. You want something to bring something back? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm, I'm going to jail to the full court because you're not looking for a white shirt. You ain't here red and you are putting blouse together and all this undergarments and shit. I'm gonna go. You want some canes from the from the thing over there? I'm I'm be doing them type of moves. I do that. I don't do that <laughs> to eat because I know we're gonna eat together. So what I do is be like, I'm about to go to another store. Like for me. Yeah. Like you know, not that I'm going to buy and I need it, but fuck, we window shopping. <laughs> I'm fucking window shopping. I'm we going. Look at, I'm going yeah. to Lids. I'm going to you know what I'm saying. I'm in Dillers. I'm looking at shit. Oh, I like that. I like that. I'm gonna come back and get this, get that, and that kind of like help. You know, so I say, like, I'm saying all this to say that in a lot of ways that we got to learn in these things how to make that shit work without letting the, some of the smaller things, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, stir us up to a level to where it always leads to an argument. If you know this will lead you out to an argument, find another way, deter, you know what I'm saying, do it another way so that it don't always end up the, the way it normally ends. And, and, and I think after being with somebody or dealing with somebody, you start knowing that's a pet peeve of mine, so I ain't gonna deal with that. Like, if a dude just can't take it at all, just don't go to the mall. Just don't do that. Right, like, so, right. just gotta learn to stay away from some of the shit that we know get under our skin to a level, or it's gonna always lead to, you know what I'm saying, a disaster or argument at the end of the day, you know, unless you just like to argue. Hey, look, we could get off of that, because look, I wanna ask you this before we get out of here. Uh, man, did you, did, I don't, you heard the uh, Puffy audio call? No, I ain't hear You ain't hear the audio call? Mm mm. Yeah, he was on the audio call with his son and shit. Like, man, everybody quiet out there. I ain't nobody. Niggas ain't niggas ain't talking. Niggas like, yeah. And nigga was just more like niggas turn their back on them type shit. And like, we gonna make everybody out alive when all this shit go go away. Cause this shit could possibly none of this shit is true. You know what I'm saying? That was like the base of the phone call. But, bro. When you say shit like that, it make a nigga think, like, straight to the Breakfast Club shit, interview he had, just denying all that, uh, just what he was about, you know what I'm saying? And talking about women and shit, and then that video of Cassie came out. If a nigga would have never seen that shit, bro, a nigga still would never know, you know what I'm saying? Right. And nigga would so that phone call making a nigga think, like, it don't hold no weight because you did this before. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I think also he we, we know that so much stuff out that we know it all that ain't true. Can't be that much. Right? Like all that ain't true. Like like you probably be a monster to some degree, but nah, they just creating another narrative to make you more of what it is because everybody see you as an opportunity of being a that's under some type of scrutiny where they feel like, fuck, I probably can get a check from them by Whatever, you know what I'm saying? I've been around them, like, you know what I'm saying? People that just been around them trying to get paid now, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, he, he might know, like, with, with so much lies that they got involved, that might 
uh, fuck up the truth in some levels. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if we could prove how many lies that's out there, it kind of make the truth look like, is it really the truth now? You know what I'm saying? Because we done detected so many lies to where the real shit that you really did or how bad you really was starting to look watered down compared to all the people that's, like, trying to make you look a certain kind of way that we could use that against them, like, by proving, by discrediting all these people, it's going to make it look less harmful as a as as an individual if we can prove the majority of these people are wrong like and I think that that's the tactic that maybe the lawyers and them may be uh, approaching it from we know you did some wrong but the way they're trying to make you look we're gonna we're gonna kill we're gonna we're gonna destroy so much of their credibility to where the truth ain't gonna really look that fucking bad when we finish breaking down some of these people right, so right. that's that, that way. so that's maybe like where he you know that's kind of like how you're looking at it to a level like man we're gonna prove them all wrong because yeah, they highlight me as a certain kind of person, but when we get down to the nitty gritty, it ain't gonna near about be as bad as they they got me looking. You know. But 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 what you say about like 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 a lawyer taking on the cases, and or you think that the people know that it just ain't no I could get some bread by just saying this. You think they going in like I gotta have some type of evidence or some some something to back up what I'm saying? So if we basing it off, they 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 not true. Why you think they going in in with it in a and like I say, a lawyer accepting the cases? Well, a lawyer accepting the cases because the more I get, if I can just get one or two of these to stick, I got something. You know, like you know, the more the better. Like in a in a string of like. One of these motherfuckers might be true. He just got to, like, go through it to, to, to get down to where he can find some evidence on, like, to make it a strong case. So as many people as I get, I'm just going through them to be like, now, what happened? Now, how this went? You know, and I'm, do you got evidence? Do you? So you got a picture? So you telling me you got a text message that he sent to your son? Like, see, like, now I'm breaking down to get down to what I really got. Now, I'm going to make the case strong by saying I got 150 K, uh, people saying he abused them a certain kind of way. But in a mix of by the time I get to court, I might just have five people, but I got five concrete people that got real evidence that I know gave me a case, but if I didn't open the door to let all these people in, I probably wouldn't have found them five. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So I just think that, you know, that's where, where they we at. We got nine of y'all saying, we, t- we told nine of y'all, get, get out Get of out of here. You, you serious right now? <laughs> but the but, but the, 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 the bill, my name on the case, I got 150 because actually that's what I had in the beginning. Yeah. But after I broke down got everything, three. I got three. <laughs> but these three strong, I got three strong ones like spades. Hard like, hitters. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm cut. You, you know, got you jokers gonna, in my fucking You're not going to be able to cut this, man. <laughs> can't like, cut this <laughs> can't cut this. You know what I'm saying? So I think, uh, you know, that's that's the game that they playing on that level. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to it. Now, you said earlier that, uh, you know, Puff was saying on the phone that why everybody being quiet and not talking. Man, they got the wrong person to talk. Yeah, they had, they had, uh, I don't know if you saw that on Jason Lee, where he let uh, Ray J talk. Boy, this nigga Ray J wasn't making no sense. They say, stay off the drugs. <laughs> Everybody, every all the comment was like, why would he, man, he wasn't making no sense. He was just rambling and just saying all, it, it's like, man, asking him a case, like, why everybody quiet about Pup? He put the hat down. <laughs> You know, got the Balenciaga. People talking about the clothes you got on. Man, Balenciaga just uh, did something with some minors or whatever. Like, with, you know, that's the wrong shirt to have on talking about Puff. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they just kind of eating them alive. Like, I ain't see, you know, usually you'll see one good comment. Now, yeah, nothing. Right. It was like, Brandy, come get your little brother. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I brought his name up to say that's why people not going to really speak or talk about Puff at the time. Like, you know, like like at the end of the day, everybody was saying he should have kept his mouth quiet because they looking like, now they bringing up everything about him. Boy, you did a sex tape with this girl. You did this. You just beat your baby mom up and was going to, you, you were faced with that and try to get the kids to lie about they ain't seen what they saw. Nigga, you know, like, so you trying, now, now they got you looking like you trying to uphold somebody that's just like you. And I think that that's one of the reasons why multiple people just like, nah, man, I ain't going to let y'all come dig in my closet by trying to speak up for Puff. Puff, you got to understand. Right. I got dirt on me, too. I come trying to speak on your name, then this internet just bring right, right, everything right. alive Everybody, to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, going to do that anyway. 
what you gonna have to I'm gonna have to wait till that time come. I'm not gonna violate it. Uh listen, yeah, cause what y'all saying about Puff, what about you? Like everybody throwing rocks at you now. No he indeed. Oh, they gonna be throwing that bitch. Oh, he worse than Puff. He now you worse. He worse than <laughs> yeah. Right. Nigga might find some shit out on you, cause like a victim just looking like I really wasn't gonna say nothing. But since he won't come up there and try to speak for the yeah. next person. You Puffy did got, me this. Puffy got lawsuits with with girls. Yeah. You got them with boys and girls. boys, trans kids, everything. Like you know what I'm saying. Like so, you don't. These people just don't oh, want to open man. up. They 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 they, they, they don't want you know. Yeah. You digging in I'm gonna their go ahead and step there. down right now. Though. I'm gonna go ahead and step. These niggas stepping down like a motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> they can't they never had these most step down from fucking CEO. In the whole fucking world, these big corporations in forever. Right. Boy, you stepping down, all right. What you stepping down for? <laughs> Some type of guilt. What is you stepping down for? You've been running this shit forever. But all I of just, a sudden, you stepping down, brother? But listen, these people would step down for one incident that they know that was wrong. Not that it was like the worst thing in the world. Like, like I said, some of these people are stepping down not because they did a wild freak off thing with Puff or nothing like that. They did something that was inappropriate that can cause them their family, cause them other things like that, that I think that that's why some people like, I, I didn't do the wildest things, but I was fucking up. Well, niggas say Kevin Lyle and Trace Owens were lovers. Yeah. I These niggas know. stepping down, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, well, why you gonna step down after the story didn't came out? Like, it don't make sense to step down now. That's like, that, that must not be the worst thing that they could say about you. The Never dude ever come in fits. He he see all that. He sex trafficking, male models. Right. I don't understand. Like this, this this must be a big thing, bro, when you get to them levels, bro. And I know it be might be it be that majority of the time, bro, it be a fetish for whatever person, dog. And they just catching the person, dog, who just trying to come up out that place where they grew up at, uh, just an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And then that's it, dog. Not that a nigga even like Man. I mean, when you get money, bro, you get a level of feeling like I got a certain kind of power that I can do some of these things that un some people will say unlawful or unmoral. You just feel like I'm above that. I'm above the law because I got I could pay myself out of certain but things. You think if everybody got anybody got that type of money that Puff have that they'll be indulging in some of them things? I'm quite sure they got a lot of them that do. You know, like a person who don't have the money, I'm saying, like us and yeah. everybody else. Nah, you know, they get that you, type of I don't money. think you're not, I don't think that, you, what you mean? The type of money that Puff got that they be indulging in all these type of parties. If you and got a sick mind. Shit that's going down. If, 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 if your mind was sick, if your mind, you know, sometimes you get fed this thing that, 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 that evolves into this. You wasn't this as a young person. You wasn't this as a regular person. But when you got that money lifestyle. and people start catering to you and you start feeling like, if Boy, I say jump, I, it's jumping. You already went to the yeah, sky. Now nah, you done got off the ground and you you you, 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 you floating like, you know what I'm saying? You, you're not even down here with the regular people. So, you know, you like a king that look at people beneath you as peasants. And you treat them like that, you know what I'm saying? You treat girls like, you know, like, it's, you ain't nothing. I get you a dime a dozen, like, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. What you ain't gonna do, the next one gonna do. You know what right. I'm saying? And, you know, once your ego get to that that type of level, you know what I'm saying, you be, you know, the monster and you just, you, it's kind of like you created the monster or the people helped create the monster because they catered to you to a level to make you feel like whatever you say go. If 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 everybody would have, like, nipped it in the bud early, you, no matter how much money you got, man, people just ain't doing whatever I say because I got money. And, and that that will keep you in a humble state. Or if you keep the right kind of people around you, good friends that could pull your you know your your coat tail and say, "Say, bro, you tripping right now." They can keep you grounded to a level because you know this is my day one nigga. Or he, he he know me for real, and he's seeing that I'm going somewhere else that ain't really who we are. He might can keep you that, but they usually get rid of them dudes. And get from around me. Like, you, you ain't gonna do what I say when all these other ones do it. Right. So, all you're gonna do is sprawl a bunch. You're gonna make them feel like, I ain't gotta, t I ain't gotta listen to him because dude don't listen to him. See, I gotta get you from around me because you about to make all them feel like right. they don't have to listen. And now, when you got rid of all those type of people, all you got around you is yes men and whatever you say, your highness, and now you, you, you floating on la la land. You don't know what's real from what's fake no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because whatever you, want to do or whatever you tell them to do, 
Is that your your command? Like however you call it, you know. Like you were saying the other day on the last podcast, you was like love and hate on the same spectrum. It's just so far away from you it's, know. They're on the same line. It's just on two different sides of it. Right, right. So when you when you equate that to the shit that you're saying, like put that same line on there, and you got all this type of money and uh, the power, and that la la land that you in, right? Mm-hmm. That's on that one end, and on the other end, let's put. Uh, the feeling of you being that same person and you in jail now and all that gets stripped. So what's the opposite? That's love and uh, that's love. No, no, no. The one we said the uh, La La Land. That love and La La Land on the same end over here. So hate and what, what, what's the opposite of La La Land that a nigga going through right now? But ha- having all that shit stripped and nigga in that cell right now. Hell, heaven on one side, hell on the other side. That's 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 the counterpart of heaven. You had it all good. La la land is heaven. It's heaven, man. Everything I want, you know, go, you know, gave go pay in uh pathways, you know, I take milk baths. Whatever I would like to do is at my disposal. Anything that I want to do, I can possibly get it done. Then you get put in hell. Stripped. Instantly. All that gets stripped away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's like coming from heaven and going to hell now. You know what I'm saying? And you're trying to find peace in that. That's where the conversation that you sound like, because I didn't hear the conversation, but the way you describing the conversation is as if, as if he was talking to his son, letting him know this shit going to all, you know, come out on the other side. Now you're trying to find peace in your hell, you know what I'm saying, to get yourself at least not, because you're never going to get back to heaven. <laughs> you know? right. But you, if you get out, you're going to be somewhere on earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be somewhere on earth, like, well, you know what I'm saying? You That's what equality is. Yeah. You're you, you, you going to find a little path. Some people going to deal with you, some people not. You know what I'm saying? Still. So you're going you, you gonna to deal with that balance of, like, having everybody, like, doing whatever I need to having a few of them that's doing it and others, right, like, right, staying right. away from you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And that's how, and, and, and a lot of people who, who, man, that's crazy that you said that. Because this shit, like, It'll make you back to reality and start make you thinking like an everyday person, like, and then it make it'll make you feel the people around you that you once felt before before you got to that level. And like, damn man, this shit really raw. You you can't take. We gotta use them, bro, for 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 lessons, dog. To where uh, you can't you can't get that big, bro, and do that. He he got to be a lesson to people too to know on this side, bro. Like, it's it's just like when the niggas niggas be saying like. Man, chess, the game of life, you know what I'm saying? But that's like you jumping in the streets and nigga only telling you the good. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. when a nigga saying the game of chess because nigga don't tell you the bad shit that happened. They got a lot of people on the other side that feel different, that you just don't hear, that feel way different than that chess is the game of life. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. But you never hear them. You always hear the people who refer to chess as being the game of life. But they got a lot, they got a lot of people, bro, that don't feel like that. And that, that I'm equating that to how a nigga gonna feel when they get out puffy. Like now you see, like you and a nigga who feel like that, cause they got people that feel like, all right, chess. You your game of life is the person who don't feel like that. All right, like a game of chess, you start off with the same pieces. You know what I'm saying? Real life, we ain't starting off with the same pieces. We ain't got the same resources. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, 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 niggas will be like, nah, that ain't the game of life. That, that, that's a fairy tale. That ain't for real. Right. And then along with that, you got people like, it don't have people in this world that we on the same team and I could tell you what to do and make sure you go do that and you don't even say a word back. You just go do right. that. That's me equating to me moving the pieces okay. where I want them to go at. And then that's where they got to go at. They can't talk back. That's my little soldiers. They do exactly what right. I tell them and they protect me. They only, you see what I'm saying? Right. And so they got niggas that's on that other side too, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. All, all I can say about if, 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 if Puff was asked, actually have to come home, that would be a humbling, you know, I think he's going through a humbling process, but he would act, actually be living in a humble state, you know what I'm saying, like meaning like coming home because he, he, you know, he would have to equate to knowing I know what got me in trouble and I know I can't even participate with that kind of stuff no more. So, you know what I'm saying, it humbles him to a level to becoming another type of person, meaning like, man, I ain't getting caught up, like just like jail do with, Pretty much street dudes, drug dealers, the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Majority of them, if they do a stretch or 
they get stripped from everything and they go through a duration of a time. When they come home, it's like almost like, man, I don't have no affiliation with none of that. Like, it's, it's they, they, they totally humble. It's, it's almost like they're a whole nother person compared to the person they once was. You know what I'm saying? Because they went through something that gave them a humbling experience to where they, the, the spirit that they adapted now is just a humble spirit now. I'm not even into none of that. I'm not, I, I already know where that leads me to. I know if I, even play with you and you start feeding me again to make me feel like something, I know where it can kind of bring me to because I've been brought there before. And I got there with the party of people around me that's just that, that's making it look like none of them went to jail, none of them got caught, none of them got, you know, caught no time. So you go to feeling like right about your injustice, like like the things that you're not doing that's from a just side of it, you start feeling right about it because you didn't see people that's around you that was ahead of you that kind of participated in some of these same things and nothing happened to them. So you start getting an invincible spirit of right, feeling right, like, right. man, ain't nothing going to happen to me, man. I got money, like I got, I could pay for this, I can get that done, ain't nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing that I can't get myself out of. Like you could, Especially if you have done it throughout, uh, you know, this man been in the game three decades. So I, I'm quite sure he's looking at it to a level of like, man, you know what I mean? It shits out of me right. and got passed to where you just don't think that this day going to ever come. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this experience that what, hum, what, what uh, Puff is faced with right now is a humbling experience to, you know, make him see the value in what's more important. Right now, more important yeah, is, sure. is his kids, you know. A girl who you felt like really, really loved me. Oh, I'm quite sure he ain't not thinking about, man, your girl really was down for me. I should have yeah. did right for, by her. Kim was really in my corner. I should have just stuck with Kim. Right. Maybe I wouldn't even be in all this dumb ass shit right yeah, now. You right now, he's about to commit suicide. He on the ledge. <laughs> you talking about? He on the ledge. So, so, no. <laughs> Jump. So if Puff, no. hold, hold on. I'm, I'm, all right, I'm, I'm going to give you a proposition. So if Puff was, was, was out here and he didn't get sentenced to jail yet, but he's still faced with everything that he faced with, and Puff is on the ledge. He on a GNO, he down here in New Orleans. He on a GNO. He on a GNO. Caesar's he done, he done super dog. Yeah, yeah. He, about to, he about to go with it, go with the move. <laughs> and you got the opportunity, bro. I'm part of the rescue team. You part of the rescue team. <laughs> Come on, pop. Get him down, bro. What you doing? I'm telling him politely, listen, brother. Don't waste my time or, or yours. You don't need to do this. Come on with us. You say anything other than okay, all Puff, right, I, get me all down. Right, all right, no, he say this. I just can't live with this no more. Jump if you can't if you <laughs> if if you want to jump, jump so we can go home and get this over with. All right. Yeah. If you don't want to jump, come on, come on with with us. If you want to jump, bro, just jump. I'm contemplating jumping. I'm jump. thinking about everything that I went through. You doing I'm it. thinking about what I'm faced with. I'm mm -hmm. contemplating it. Puffy, if you're doing other, anything other than coming <laughs> with us, jump. <laughs> you can't talk, nigga. Facts. Boy, if I have Fact, 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 facts. I'm glad I ain't on a ledge and they called you to come tell me, come work it out. Like, come yeah, on, man. I didn't get anything other than come with us, jump. It's ain't the time to play. You called us. You pump faking. We didn't know you was up here. You called the po. You called us. You don't want to jump, oh, man. Okay, what if it's in this scenario where I'm about to jump? People pulling over. Oh, what's going on? That's Puff Daddy. They calling. They not, he not calling nobody. They calling. Man, Puff on the leg like he about to jump. Like he, he just look out of himself. You think he gonna do it? Well, he look like he about to do it. He's he, he on the edge. He on the ledge. Can we get somebody to come talk him down? Gas. You know what I'm saying? Come, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you right here, man. Like, like, see if you can get this man off the ledge. That's my first woo to talk you down. But I'm not about to talk you down and talk you down and talk you down, man. I'm about to fuck around and get in my car and pull off. If you jump or come, man, I'm about to get the fuck. Hey, you know what I'm hey, saying? I'm not so about to stay out there. It's just not true. That's, nah, that's, that, you know, we you, know. We you, know. you plan. You don't want to jump for real. Bro, some people have to build up the, listen, they do want to jump. They just need to, you know. Build up enough it's courage to go all courage. the way. It's no courage. It is a courage. If you want to commit suicide, bro, just commit it. You don't, you don't, you, I shouldn't say it like that. No, That's what I'm saying. No, no, I, no, I'm talking about, no, just yeah, you the, can't way, say the that. way I say it is not just like, do it. like, but I, I'm basically still saying that. I think the person that actually go through with it have built up enough courage already. The, the person, you're a gangster. You're, you're the real deal. You could take that big old 40 and, boy, you're the real deal. I can't do it. 
I don't got that much heart, bro. I can't. Nah, I can't do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it either. You know, I, I, I think I got too much love for life to just take my life. Like, like you know, just check out like that. I don't think. I just don't think nothing could be that tough or hard that I can't get find my way out of it. I just that's what I believe, and I just think people get in a dark place, bro, to a level where they just feel like they can't go no more. I've been in a dark place to where I feel like I can't go no more, but but. You, taking my life, it, no, I'm just saying, taking my life never was an option. You wasn't in that dark, you yes, wasn't in the darkest was. place. You wasn't in the darkest. In the darkest place, you couldn't bro. see nothing, man. <laughs> curtains, <laughs> eyes P- closed, pitch black, eyes open, pitch black, right? But, but I'm saying, like, eyes closed, dog, man. Eyes closed, dog, man. I'm telling you about, yeah, I've been, I've been in them places, bro. Been in them places. So what you think, you know, if we talking about dark places and people. But it never was suicide. But I'm saying for the person to go through and commit suicide from being in the dark place, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got a picture. That's, that's got to be a lower state than where you was at. Have to be lower than where, where you was at. Some kind of way, what, what didn't make uh, taking your life come into play is, is, is it had to have, you had to have a, if it was a mustard seed of of of, of faith or hope, it had to still be there, because other than that, you you, you, you it's, that's the only right thing that it seemed like you can do is just is, is check out. You see what I'm saying? For some reason, you must have didn't you know you was low. It was in a dark place, but it wasn't some kind of way. You saw a little bit of light somewhere. I guess, but I don't know because some, some some things can make you feel a certain way that it don't make me feel. That's what I'm saying. So that person can get. It, that person is in a lower state than you, to, to you know, to, to don't have no kind no, of... No, I'm saying we could be in the same space. He just decided to do that, and I decided to do something else. And I'm saying because we're in the but same we're space. But we're in the same space. Listen, we're in the same space. A dark room is dark. I don't see no light, right? But I'm just trying to say, the way I look at it, at being in that place, is like there's no other way. For whatever reason that you didn't do it, you got to feel like there's a smidgen of something that... that 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 it didn't bring you to that level of just saying that's it. I can't I can't go no further. See, what I'm saying you you know you're in a dark place, but it ain't your mind ain't go to I can't go no further, right? Why you ain't just check out? <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> you can't go no further and still win. You think everything who kill himself really couldn't go no further? I just think he couldn't go no. He gave up. He, he, he it was couldn't a form go, of weakness. I, I couldn't go no. It was further. a form of weakness. But is it a form of strength? Because you say you don't have the courage to do that. Is that a form of strength to 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 to, to take that forty and bam? I don't know. I had to reevaluate it as a form of weakness. But I'm saying, couldn't it be a form of strength to, to know, like, when you try to imagine, damn, I could, I just couldn't do that. Like, you, that's a lot of courage to to, to to hit to go with the move. One hit a quitter. I'm just saying. But you ain't coming back, brother. I just want you to know that. That's what I want to tell you on that lead. Hey, brother, listen. You gonna yeah, be one gonna of my All right, we gonna take, we gonna take puff off. I'm on the ledge. It's the same thing with fly. Me? I don't know rap cap on the way down. No rap cap. <laughs> <laughs> what you think the thoughts? What you think the thoughts be from <laughs> the ledge? From the ledge to, to the water. water? I can't believe I did this. <laughs> Do you think that would really be, sir? It, it probably would be. I'm just. I got only can go with my own logic. That's part of I can't believe I did it. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. Oh! I can't believe I did it. Ain't nothing to laugh at, bro. I, you know, no. But I'm just that can't honest. be a, a nigga thoughts. That can't be a nigga thoughts. Because I don't really, you know, because I'm thinking that I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I never should have did it, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> thinking, when I'm, if I'm up there that long, I'm kind of doing it and not doing it. So once I done hit the note of like, I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm jumping, but then I think my mind might say, "It shouldn't have did it." Like I think, I think uh, that before I I, before I hit to somewhere before I go, because we talking about jumping off a yeah. ledge. We ain't talking about dome checking yourself. So if I'm jumping off a ledge, I'm thinking through that uh, uh, the process of that. I'm thinking I probably shouldn't have did it. Man, my girl, my kids. You think about all that on the ledge. Evidently, you just like, you know, I, I just can't live with it no I more. I can't go no more. They could go. I yeah, can't go I no more. I can't go no more. You know what I'm saying? Boy. So that's, that's, that's a tough decision. And I, and like I said, I think it's still, it's, it's a low place, but it, it's, it's a place still where I think you got to have a certain level of courage to even go with that as well. That's taking your life. That's like you say, this ain't no coming back from this. 
And I think all that come across your mind when you contemplating going that route, you know what I'm saying? And you 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 accept it as I, I just yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so your low place wasn't you just didn't go low enough, brother. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, you know, sometimes I, I I get carried away and we just be joking. But on some real shit though, uh, somebody that I fuck with and I really love, uh. I might not be as fast to say, man, just jump. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm that, I'm that, I'm that, I'm that person in real life. You know what I'm saying? To give a nigga advice, good advice in real, real life to come on down. You know what I'm saying? I'm joking and bullshitting, but I'm that nigga in real life to. So you go like, ahead. like, like I would, I, I would take pride in it. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, I take pride in come and talk to you down. You know, you, 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 you go to eight hours. Huh? You you do the eight hours on it, you know. Sometimes it be up to eight, eight hours. Oh yeah, for how for how long? You know? Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to just see if you had a limit on no, how far you'll go. Long. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Cause yeah, I was about to say, man, don't I'm call just the don't call this nigga hour. gas if if I was ever on the ledge, which I doubt that I go now that you, route. Now, now, if I part of the rescue team that's looking for you in the water after you jump, yeah, we 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 cutting that shit short. Like after you in the water, we gotta find you and yeah, we. Bitch, we got about an hour and a half, bitch. <laughs> We're looking for you. You ain't gonna give my people a proper burial? Man, you ain't gonna have no burial. You can't yeah, find it. You. But look, nigga. Yeah, fuck you. We. No, hour hour and and a, no the, the current is a motherfucker. Look, I might be way in Chell Met. Yeah, Go you, look. The way it fucking posts off. Somewhere like that. <laughs> Quick. So come on, bro. Get on the work. Like, work for a nigga. Man, that motherfucker jump, bro. He jumped. Your people jump, my nigga. You talking about a barrier. Your Your people jump. Yeah, but I'm saying, but like, if you can help give them a proper barrier, they didn't jump. Yeah, he jumped. <laughs> I know, but give them a proper barrier, not him. Like we, it's past him. It's it's about the people that love him. Like, go, go hard with the search the same way you will go with the talk down. Yeah, but 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 the type of search that is, you ain't. We saying that, man. But the type of search that that shit is, you ain't, you ain't about to get too much time like that to be searching, man. That 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 that's the best search. That's what we niggas saying. Like an hour and a half, we put no, like a, man, we put like a, three days, man. Yeah, listen, what I'm saying, they never find you neither. Uh, but they they did go three days. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you saying an hour and a half? If I ain't find you an hour and a half, you really gone. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Brother. So you giving up because you know that in you, your heart that we ain't gonna find them. Cause cause, cause we would have been to found you. By you know now. What I'm saying? You dropped right here by the gym, no, my nigga. And we ain't found you in an hour and a half, my nigga. I'm talking about you at sea. Down there, the end of the world, down there past Venice. Yeah. And we haven't been to found you, my nigga, no hour and a half. Right. It take motherfucking 10 seconds, nigga, to get from the fucking gym, no, to way around fucking LJ's point in the river. 10 seconds, brother. <laughs> this shit don't... This, an hour and a half, my nigga, is like three days in the current in that water. Basically what I'm saying. Right. So you you ain't found... You got out there three days, you're playing games. You know what I'm saying? Playing game. Well, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I, you know, I, you know, I sympathize, and you know, my heart go out to people that get that low. You know what I'm saying? You know, feel free to, you know what I'm saying? If you feeling like you even in a zone of that, because depression is one of the things that start that phase. You get that low, bro, to where you feel like, you know what I'm saying? You getting into a level where, you know, it's like I said, I think this this, this whole phase of getting low to where people want to commit suicide in their life, it starts off with a, a certain phase of depression. And the best way to, to never get to, happen to get on the ledge to even be in a level of attempting to jump or, or taking your life any form or fashion is to start like letting, finding somebody that you love. I, I, you know, it could be a, you know, just somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, that you can kind of, like, let let them know what's going on with you that you feel like are concerned or have some type of care for you so maybe that they can give you some better reasoning on the level of, like, don't do that or don't go that route or, you know what I'm saying, just whatever. Go to a, find your preacher, you know, find your close relative or, you know, a loved one or whatever, man, and just kind of express to them what you're going through and maybe you'll understand you're not alone. I think a lot of people that deal with depression and things of that nature, they feel like it's just them. They're dealing with it by themselves. It's only what they're going through. And sometimes when you talk to other people, you'll understand, man, I went through that. I had that issue a few years ago. I had a cousin that went through that and, and this is how he came out. So sometimes we can, before we have to talk you off a ledge, we can talk you out of depression. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? This no rap cap podcast, man. Y'all already know what we do. You know what I'm saying? We gotta drop that real, gotta give you some real juice about life. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, and and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Where we at with it? Go by gas the realest. Man, I'm Mr. Mina, the motivator, and I hope I motivated some people out there, you know what I'm saying, to not get on that ledge. Support the movement, man. You know what it is, man. I'm talking about become a member. You got through this with got this uh you got this for. And you ain't a member, man. Go ahead and get the monthly member. Just Make sure you subscribe. Out, Make sure you subscribe as well. And you already know what to watch. Watch this. Don't watch that other shit. Yeah. Boom.